Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the best free coding courses that no one is really talking about. I'm going to share them all with you right in a second here, but before we get to that, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. And as always, a shout out to some of these wonderful subscribers here. Thank you for your comments, questions, feedback. You know I say this in every video because you all are amazing. Okay, on that note, let's get started and talk about some of the best and the top coding courses that are free. The first one I want to start with is one that I didn't know existed until I would say recently, actually, someone started talking about this and uh, bringing it to my attention. So I signed up for it just to see what it was all about and if it was something that I would recommend, and it definitely is, which is Hack Reactor. Hack Reactor offers a free, completely free intro to coding course. It's a program you can go to uh, online and attend. And basically what it is, is it's a great bridge for anyone who is just starting to learn how to code and into getting into a coding bootcamp or to getting to the next step of their learning phase. But if you are someone who is very beginner looking to start from scratch, Hack Reactor has an amazing free coding course. They also offer a premium course, so obviously the premium one you do have to pay, but if you click the link, I'll link everything down below. If you click the link to Hack Reactor, uh, look at the self-study, self-paced course. It is a great course for anyone looking to learn JavaScript and really have that foundation build. Next on the list, no surprise here is edX. edX is something that maybe some of you are familiar with and have used and love. For myself, I did not know about edX till I guess until it was too late, meaning I already had taken a lot of, I've already learned code and was past that point. There's still tons I can learn on it, but I really wish I would have known about edX when I first started learning how to code. edX offers courses from renowned universities such as Harvard, MIT for completely free. One of the courses they are most famous for is their intro to computer science course from Harvard. Uh, I'll link it down below, but it's an excellent, excellent course that really allows anyone to dive into computer science, the fundamentals, the basics for completely free. The third on the list is Khan Academy. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Khan Academy, Khan Academy. Anyway, it's linked down below, Khan Academy. And Khan Academy has amazing courses for free from HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Python, and beyond. They offer a range of free courses that you can take right from the comfort of your home. And really they have courses for beginners or people who are intermediate and beyond. The fourth one I want to talk about is kind of surprising on this list, or maybe not, but it's so obvious it's often missed, which is YouTube. YouTube itself is a platform that I spent so much time on learning how to code, whether it be React tutorials, whether it be Angular tutorials or backend tutorials. And I think it's one of those things that are often missed. And I get asked a lot, well, how do you know if you are picking a good or bad course on YouTube? What signifies if it's good or bad? And here are some things that I look for. The first thing I always look for is the date. When was this video published? And that is important because if the video was published two years ago, three years ago, it most likely is out of date or to some capacity out of date. The second thing I look for is comments. I read through the comments, see what people have written about the video. If there's a lot of questions and a lot of uncertainty, then maybe it isn't the best tutorial or video. The other thing I look for is views. I've done some amazing tutorials that don't have that many views. So it doesn't signify, the view part doesn't signify if I will or will not take a tutorial. However, having a video that has quite a bit of views, uh, you know, lots of likes, positive comments, you know it's probably going to be a good tutorial. And I think that so many people get caught up on feeling as though they need to pay for a course or take a very structured course where YouTube is, you're going to build things quickly, meaning a lot of YouTube courses are just more individual tutorials. So it's great if you're looking to do an add-on to a tutorial that you already did, or if you're looking to kind of build like a to-do list or get your feet wet in a certain language or framework. Next on the list is a course by Skillshare called Intro to Programming. This is a nine video series where you really get an understanding of programming, the basic concepts, and it's a really good tutorial or course for anyone to take that's completely free. If you are someone who is diving into coding, but you are not sure which programming language to start with. 
This gives you a big understanding, a broad understanding of the different technologies out there, the different languages out there. And from there, I think it's a really great way to help you narrow down what direction you want to go in. Another really amazing one is on Coursera. Of course, we've heard of Coursera or most of you have. It's a huge platform with some amazing courses. And one of the courses that they offer for free is Programming for Everyone. This is a very basic intro programming course. They focus on Python and it really once again teaches you from the ground up with no coding experience, no coding background. You can take this course and come out of it with a solid foundation. Okay, last on the list for anyone interested in PHP or MySQL uh, or back in development as a whole, this is an amazing course and one of the first courses I took when I was learning both PHP and MySQL for my first job, which is Intro to PHP and MySQL. It is a course that is offered by Udemy for completely free and I had no idea this course existed. When I think Udemy, I think you have to pay a lot of money for courses typically. So the fact that they have this free course available that is so highly rated is huge. So if you're interested in backend development, I highly suggest you check this one out. And this course starts literally from the ground up. You will learn how to install and download both PHP and MySQL, set up your environments, literally from no programming experience to coming out of this course, having a solid understanding of what PHP and MySQL is. That's pretty amazing if you ask me. I've linked all the courses down below so you can ensure to check them out. At the end of the day, I really don't want you to get too caught up or too focused on which course is the best or should I do this one first or this one first. It's easy to get caught up in that because there is so much information out there. So I completely understand why those thoughts probably have gone through your head or they did mine anyways when I was first starting out. But then you realize as you continue to grow in your career and your knowledge with coding that you just need to do it. What's that slogan by Nike? Just do it. And it's so true. Uh, it, there's no right or wrong first tutorial to a degree. And you really just need to dive in, pick one and start learning. That's what you really need to do instead of spending your time thinking about what is the perfect course I should take. And I think any of these courses, if you were to take them with zero programming knowledge, you will come out with some strong fundamentals of programming and really have a clear or definition of what you want to do next for your next steps, whether it be continue with the language you just learned, maybe try something else or see where you're at. But it definitely is one of those things that nowadays you can learn programming completely for free online. And not even that, but you can also get a job, become a full-time, full-stack developer, learning for free, learning online. You just need to put your mind to it, commit to the time, and you got this. Thank you all for watching my video. I hope it was helpful for anyone looking to start their coding journey. Make sure to leave in the comments other coding tutorials that really helped you if you are someone who is already kind of advanced in their coding career or that you have taken recently and love. I always want to hear other tutorials. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. And I will see you soon. Thanks everyone.